As the incumbent councillor, you're probably the most experienced candidate for mayor in the field. If you're elected to the new Douglas Shire Council, how do you think that experience will serve you moving from councillor to the high role? Look, I think it's absolutely invaluable. I don't think a lot of people realise how complex local government is and how much you have to be across so many diverse issues. And I think my nearly 20 years of local government experience, um, it really puts me in a very good place to actually be the first mayor of the new Douglas Shire Council. I know all facets of local government and I'm particularly skilled in financial management, strategic management, consultation and it's also just the knowledge of what all the programs and policies are and, and probably more importantly what exactly is local government's role, what is the state government's role, what is the federal government's role because we need to work very closely with all tiers of government but certainly in the first two years we need to focus on particularly what is important for Douglas. And tell me a bit about some of your achievements or changes that you've really driven in the region. Look, I'm really proud of my achievements in, in, in the first term and also part of this term. We're, I've actually been uh, involved in pushing for millions of dollars of funding for a whole raft of bridges and roads and um, things like uh, uh, skate ramps. I'm really pleased that we've finally actually got the funding for the Wonga Beach skate ramp, which is really overdue. Um, I've initiated uh, things like the Free Daintree Ferry Initiative, which has been very popular, and another one is due to start in early November, and I managed to get council to agree to that uh, to be a permanent feature. Uh, we've certainly um, improved a lot of facilities, things like lights at the, um, the, the footy field in, in Port Douglas, um, a, a whole sort of refurbishment of the Mossman Shire Hall, uh, the All Abilities Playground in Mossman. I actually got the funding for that when I was an officer and it was really pleasing to actually have that implemented in the new council. Julia, tell me a bit about your election priorities. Look, my priorities are very much focused on the financial sustainability, tight economic management, overall fiscal responsibility of the new council. If we don't get this right, we're sunk. And finally, what current Cairns Regional Council initiatives, if any, would you want to carry through to the new council if you're elected? Look, there are quite a few. And one of the things that I want to do in the first two years is to review every single policy and program that we have so that we can take the best of what I know that you can do in a bigger council, but also make it far more flexible and, and the way that we want to do things in Douglas. So every single policy and program I want to review, we certainly will be doing a total review of the Douglas plan next year, and also things like we've got some good streamlining of uh, approval processes that I would want to continue with, because things will move on. It won't be, it, it is not going to be the old council. We've actually got a rare opportunity to create a new council with a committed workforce and also I think an enthusiastic community. And my aim is to create a modern council with a new culture that's very much focused on financial sustainability, tight economic management, but also one that really grows our two main industries, tourism and agriculture, but is open for new diversification opportunities as they arise.